again, the good Hardy body punches. A lot of fighters are afraid to get in close like that, aren't they, Alex, and work the body? Certainly leaves you exposed to the uppercut, especially when you're as busted up as, that, as uh, Jeff Harding is, and when the guy uses his head like that. Oh, oh and another right. The left was blocked, but the right really rocked Harding. And what does he do? He counters and knocks Andres back to the rope. Arm punching right now. Jeff Harding should dig down and rips oh, a punches. Not arm punch. Oh, look at that. And the blood really starting to come out of the nose of Jeff Harding. And now it's Dennis Andres, but Harding fights his way off the ropes. Oh, work out of there. Come on, get those arms out. Come on. Get those arms out of there. Come on, work out of there. Look at the, the Andres head. Andres leaning on Harding, attempting to keep him and keep him on the ropes. And Nifty little sidestep by Jeff Harding. That's the first time he's made a move on the ropes. Tremendous body punching by Jeff Harding. And it shows on Dennis Andres, who's covering up. A little bit of a wobble in Dennis Andres right there for those four body punches. And that right sends Andres back. And for the first time, Dennis Andres giving the appearance of a man in trouble. If Hardy could dig down and, and throw and land a series of power punches, Joe Cortez might stop it. 15 seconds left in the 11th round. Dennis Andres ought to throw a punch. Joe Cortez looking closely. Inside five seconds here in the 11th. That's it. There's a bell. One more round. And look at the spring and the step of Jeff Hardy at the end of the 11th. Punches that got Andres in trouble. He went back to the ropes. Harding putting together a series of punches. Could not get over the one or two punches in combination that would force the referee to stop it. Relax, relax. Come on. Jeffrey, mate. Jam him hard. A lot of blood from Jeff Harding, but again, he's not breathing deeply. Right hand, left hook. Everything you got on the tour. Keep your back against the last one. Get up. Go. Great championship bounce here in the top five. These are two of the most finely conditioned fighters I have ever seen, Alex. You know, we said at the top of the show. Oh, and again, Andres is rocked early by a left from Harding. Boy, this, this round, not even 10 seconds old, and Andres against the rope. Dennis Andres will not give up his title without a fight. Dennis Andres' legs appear to be very stiff. He doesn't seem to have a lot underneath him. If Jeff Hardy could put together a series... Oh! Oh, and there it is! The combination of Andres is down. Australian contingent is in the ring. On the shoulders of his countrymen, Jeff Hardy. Let's take a look at the first knockdown. Here is Jeff Hardy. Two lefts, and the combination sends him to the ground. 
Dennis Andres, it just appeared he just gave everything he had. He wasn't unconscious when he went down. He just had nothing more to give. On my scorecard, Jeff Hardy needed a knockout to win, and he got it. Dennis Andres rose for the third time, but Joe Cortez wisely steps in, stops it, and Jeff Hardy, the WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, will return here to Atlantic City for an interview. We'll be back in just a minute.